Hey everybody and welcome to my incense tag video which is pretty much just showing you my collection of incense. So I have them kind of organized by my absolute favorite that I love and then ones that I highly recommend you do not get. So I'm actually excited that I've kept them and haven't thrown them away yet which I will do after this video of course just to show you that do not get them. Just letting you know. Don't. So. First, I'm actually going to show you my incense burners because they're kind of cool. Um, I wish I had the one at my parent or my in-laws house. They have this really cool bottle and um, there's like a hole at the bottom and you kind of stick the incense, like the bottom of the insect, incense, into like a key ring and you let that dangle on top and then the smoke comes out of the hole and out of the, ooh, you see there's a bird right here? I can't right there, right there. <gasps> Hello, Cardinal. Hi. I have a bird feeder like right there. Yeah, where he landed. All right. Sorry. Um. So I have that bottle, which is really awesome. I wish I could show you guys. Um. Uh, but then I have just the regular wood sticks. This one's really cool. It's got this really cool design. Tree of Life, Sun, Moon on it. I have this one, which is my actual altar one. Just green man, and then there's a hole right there for the stick. Little owl. And then um, for cone incense in there. And of course, you can burn whatever you want in a little cauldron. So you get loose incense or cones or whatever you want in there. Um, okay, so first let me show you my absolute favorite in the whole entire world. And okay, so tiny story. So I just, since I'm new to this area, I was kind of searching for witchy shops and I found one that it's about an hour and a half, two hours away from me, but they sell the best incense ever. And I'm so excited because I found out that she actually sells them online. I'm so excited. So now I don't have to drive my happy ass all the way over there once a year, stock up like I did this time <sighs> to get them because they are amazing. So the shop is called Dinah's Dream. And uh, I think it's just dinosdream.com. If not, I'm going to post the link down below. So please click on it. She has the most amazing incense. She sells other things besides incense. Oils, crystals, other things, other things. But her incense is out of this world. The best smelling incense I've ever had in my life. I love it. Okay. So let me show you a couple of the ones I have. Oh, and the prices are really good. It's, I think, 25 incense for like $1.50 and then... A hundred for like five dollars, so amazing prices, just amazing. Everything's amazing. Okay, so my first scent is cookie dough, Ugh. my fiance's favorite. So, but it, it really does smell like cookie dough. It smells even better when it burns. It's just amazing, and it's a fresh, clean burn. Yeah. I wasn't no sure I was gonna go with that. Okay. Um, and then here's my favorite a cherry blueberry. <sighs> smells so good. Um, I have Sweet Dreams and then Honeysuckle. Sweet Dreams Blue, Greens, Honeysuckle. They smell good too. I have a Sage and Sandalwood. <sighs> also smell good. And then I think this is like a raspberry and then like a triple berry or something like that. Which also smell delicious. And um, I think she has w a way more scents than what I have of these. She even has like the big... Um, incense sticks as well she has all kinds of stuff i'm sorry if you see me looking up at the tv but the usa game is about to start so i'm just trying to keep out the argentina game was crazy right um anyway okay so so that's my favorite i'm gonna link her um thing down below Dinah's dreams amazing incense ever it's definitely an oil based not chemical not alcoholic smell at all just fresh clean scents and clean burns it's just it's amazing I love, it. I love it prices are great I love it I love it and now that you can order online ah, I'm obsessed obsessed all right so my next favorite brand is the Ganesh sticks and this is my favorite scent it's just number 14 I don't know what the smell is I wish I did so I can recreate it but it's amazing these you can also get online, by the way. But they smell so good. Um, I've taken these at grocery stores and at Spencer's as well. 
Um, so, but yes, number 14 is my favorite. They also have uh, good flavors like coconut's really good. Uh, vanilla, my absolute favorite scent ever, is really good. And the lavender, I think the lavender is like okay. It's it wouldn't be my favorite lavender ever, but it's it's okay. But the vanilla, the coconuts, and especially the number 14 is really my favorite. It smells so good. Like I said, grocery stores. I know um, Spencer's for sure has them, um, and I think you can order those online as well. Um, so my next favorites are um, Morning Star. This is the only scent I have from them. Is the cedar wood because these are kind of a little bit more expensive. These have, what is it, 56, 50 sticks, and it comes with its own little holder, and it's about three, four dollars, something like that, so, eh, so it's okay, but it comes with this cute little, um, holder, and mine is obviously way too used, because I have only one incense left, but it's incense all the way through, instead of having, like, the stick part. And you just stick it in there and then it burns all the way through onto the tile which is why the tile looks like that and which is why they give you a new tile for every box so that's smart but um very cool and um, this one smells delicious I do want to end up getting more um, more of these like I said they're just slightly more expensive than normal um, incense would be so, so I usually try like just to get one of those boxes at a time or just a couple at a time. I had the vanilla, which is great as well. So I just need to get more. And these, I think you can buy these at um, spiritual stores. So this brand as well you can get at spiritual stores. It's called Hem. And this is my favorite frankincense and myrrh. It smells so good. So in case if you don't know, frankincense and myrrh or then um, separately are kind of like your white candle of incense so how you can use a white candle for any kind of general thing if you don't have a specific candle for if you're doing a specific spell you can always use a white candle so like when in doubt use a white candle if you don't have anything specific um, the same thing is for frankincense and myrrh um, either using them together or using them separately um, it's like a white candle you can use it for any spell if you don't have you know, as a substitute for whatever you don't have um, so I, I was having a really hard time finding like a perfect frankincense and myrrh that smells really good, um, or not as like chemically or whatever, and I think this one smells amazing. So I actually bought like three boxes and I was like, yes, I finally found one I like. So, so these smell amazing. I love it. Um, I have other ones by them. I have clove and cinnamon. And they smell good too. So, but these I usually find these at spiritual stores as well. Um, so the next grouping I have are pretty much just um ones that I bought at Renfest or at little shops local here, things like that. Um, so I have vanilla, which is good, cinnamon, which is good. I'm assuming these are just kind of like a multiple array of whatever here. Um, and then these are really special, really amazing to me. They're called Dark Moon, and I do use them when I am trying to get in tune with the Dark Moon or using it for something specific to do with the Dark Moon or a ritual on the Dark Moon or whatever. But they smell really good too. So, these are amazing. I also have a couple of cones, which these I've obviously burned through. And these are awesome because these on this bag are strawberry. Okay. okay. I don't know how the game hasn't started yet. What the hell? Alright. Um, okay. So now we're kind of running into like the okay, but not really okay. Which is, um, the first one I have to say is Sai, I think it's what it's pronounced, S-A-I. And this one's sandalwood and they're cone incense and they really just smell like soap. I don't know how else to say it, but they don't... They really don't smell like sandalwood, and if it is, it's like a hint of sandalwood. That's about it, so... But... But... They smell like soap. That's really all they smell like to me. So, and this is the only scent of this brand I have, so maybe I need to smell other scents. But, yeah. 
Um, so, tiny little story again. So the next couple things that I've got was when I first started back into my practice. So where I used to get incense beforehand, that shop had closed down. So I was kind of really, had no idea where else to look, so I just kind of went to general stores, and if anywhere I saw incense, I was like, ooh, grab it, ooh, grab it, whether, whenever, no matter what it smelled like. And, uh, bad idea. Now I know better, thank goodness. But, but some are not bad. So the first place I went to was Walmart, and it came with a regular wooden in stick, um, incense holder, and it came with three incense. Now... The Nag Champa is not bad, and the Full Moon one is not bad, but this Lavender sucks. It really does. I don't like it. Um, so... Uh, uh, that. And then I also ended up getting the Myrrh and the Frankincense um, cones. They both suck as well. So... Going to Walmart, if you have to, if you have no other option, then I would say get the Full Moon or the Nag Champa. Those are pretty good. Um, all the other ones pretty much suck, so skip it. Um, the other two I think I got at Dollar Stores. Um, this one is called Indian Spirit, and it's supposed to have four separate scents, and they all suck. They're very chemical. I wouldn't even want to burn them because they smell hideous not being burnt. So why would I even want to? Um, and then I also have this Elegant Expressions, which I think I've seen these at Walmart as well, which is my favorite scent, vanilla. And this one also sucks really bad. So if you see any of these brands, stay away. Um, I just really did not like them. I had another scent of this one as well, but I cannot remember what it is. And, um, and I'm sure I threw that one away as soon as I got it. Because that one was really, really bad. Um, uh, but definitely stay away from these brands. Stay away from the Walmart brands. Unless if that's, you know, your first thing that you want to try. Then, you know, go for it. But, don't do it. So, anyway, that is pretty much it for me today. Um, hope you enjoyed. Like I said, I don't have that much, but I have a good amount. But I do have a great recommendation for the Dinah's Dreams. I'm telling you, check out her shop. It's awesome. So anyway, I hope you guys have a great day. Go Team USA. I'm getting ready to watch the game. And I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.